Today we're going to dive into something really exciting for all of you anamorphic lovers out there. We're talking about the Siri 1.25x anamorphic adapter and why it's a total game changer for those of you who have or are planning to buy the 1.6x anamorphic Siri full frame lenses. I'm a big fan of the 75mm 1.6 anamorphic lens from Siri. A review of it and 35mm Siri lens will be coming so stay tuned. Uh, the 75 itself can capture fantastic anamorphic shots but when you pair the 75 millimeter lens with the 1.25x adapter this lens now becomes a 2x anamorphic which is really impressive for its size you'll be able to get that classic widescreen look and it gets even better when you pair it with a camera that can film open gates using 2x anamorphic setups is not the same on all cameras this is why i went for the l mount lenses so i can use them with the latest lumix s5 mark ii the S5 Mark II can film 6K 3x2 open gate, which records the entire sensor, giving you more space on top and bottom of the frame. It also records 3.3K APS-C at 50 frames. And this will give you a cropped image with a taller aspect ratio, which is 4x3, pretty much the same as the Micro Four Thirds sensors. Having the ability to crop the sensor to APS-C comes in really handy when you want to use the adapter with series wider lenses like the 35mm or even the 50. Both of those two lenses are full frame, but when you pair them with the 2x adapter they will only work in super 35 mode or APS-C mode on the Lumix S5 Mark II and that's because they will get big vignetting if you try to film in full frame mode. So anytime I use the 35 millimeter with the 2x adapter I will switch into the APS-C mode that will still allow me to get a 2x wide angle shot. Anamorphic lenses are a lot wider than the usual spherical lenses. For example the 75 millimeter 1.6x squeeze is roughly equivalent to a 47 millimeter spherical lens and with the 1.25x adapter which makes this a 2x anamorphic this actually would be a 37 millimeter spherical equivalent which is very close to my favorite spherical focal length the 35 millimeter 35 millimeter anamorphic with a 2x adapter will become a 17.5 spherical equivalent but that does require the APS-C crop because of the vignetting which would make this a 28 millimeter equivalent according to my calculations so the 35 millimeter at 2x in the APS-C crop will still be wider at 28 millimeter then the 75 millimeter at 2x which will be equivalent to a 37 spherical lens on a full frame apart from the 75 millimeter Siri anamorphic there are also the 100 millimeter and 135 lenses and they're both compatible with the 1.25x adapter when filming in full frame mode and they really look fantastic especially on a camera that can shoot open gate in 6k such as the Lumix S5 Mark II let's look a bit more about that so Lumix cameras are known for their anamorphic features there are a few settings that we need to adjust first. So once we put on the 75 millimeter with the 1.25x adapter, let's turn on the anamorphic de-squeeze to 2x. And in the image stabilization menu, we need to set the anamorphic mode to two and double check that the lens information is set correctly. So in this case, we're using a 75 millimeter lens. Now the rig is ready to shoot. So let's go out and let's get some 2x anamorphic shots. The way you get focus on this setup is to set the main lens to infinity and just use the adapter focus ring to grab focus. Some other adapters sometimes require focusing both the lens and the adapter, which can be very clunky. So it's great that this setup requires only one focus adjustment. The adapter is a little bit front heavy, which makes this lens a little bit trickier to focus uh, because you can accidentally bump the focus ring on the main lens, which you don't want to do. So I found that having a top handle helps out a lot when 
getting low angle shots and trying to focus at the same time. And if you want to rig out your camera, definitely get a wireless photo focus system. I personally use the small rig Magic Fizz, which has a focus control side handle and that allows me to have more control over my shots. You also probably seen this red button on the adapter. This allows you to twist the adapter without unscrewing it and align it horizontally with the main lens. You have to make sure that this is straight, otherwise the image will be skewed and the flares won't be horizontal. An easy way to check the alignment is to take out a phone torch, shine it at the lens and make sure that the flares are horizontal. You can turn on the camera's grid function to help with the alignment. The adapter has an 82 millimeter thread for screwing on ND filters in the front or any other filters that you might have and also an 82 millimeter thread on the back which means this not only works with the Siri anamorphic lenses but you can also put this on any of your normal spherical lenses. Now I haven't tested this too much as I was fully consumed by using this adapter purely with the 75 millimeter lens because I was blown away by its results but you can pop this on to a spherical lens and you'll get a slight anamorphic look. It's nothing crazy especially when compared to the 2x anamorphic shots I got as by itself the adapter is only 1.25x squeeze but it's still a cool option if you want to get into anamorphics. There are also a few step down rings included if you want to put this adapter on different size lenses. One thing to keep in mind and that goes for all anamorphic lenses is the closest focusing distance is further than normal spherical lenses but that can be corrected by using diopters which basically magnify lenses for getting close-up shots. I've got a four diopter kit which allows me to get a lot closer with these anamorphics. There are a few things about this adapter to keep in mind. As you change the focus on the adapter the front element does come forward and back so that could be a bit of an issue if you're using this combo with a bigger matte box that is mounted on rails or when using this setup on a gimbal. And I also noticed that when you change the focus on the adapter, the squeeze factor does change a bit. So that's something to look into in post-production when de-squeezing the footage. Overall, I had a lot of fun using this adapter, especially on the 75 millimeter lens. It basically intensifies the already great anamorphic look you get from the 1.6x lens. With a 2x anamorphic, you can point the camera at almost anything and it will look fantastic. And with the S5 Mark II, I was able to preview the de-squeezed cinematic 2x anamorphic look with stabilization and my favorite LUT. So overall, this is an epic combo for filmmakers that want to take their content to the next level. If you got any questions about anamorphic lenses or shooting anamorphic on the Lumix S5 Mark II, do let me know down below and I'll see you guys next time.